guys, welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you an eye tutorial using my new Buxom customizable eyeshadow palette. And I actually created two of them. This one that we're going to be using today um, is the warm shades that I chose. And I'll tell you which ones I'm using. And then I'm going to do another tutorial with the cooler shades that I bought, like pinks and purples. So right after I finish filming this, I'm actually going to film the review video, show you how they come to you, show you how to package them out, show you them on the site and tell you all about them. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to put up first, but I'm filming them both at the same time. So um, I'm going to list these shadows and then I'll also, when it's published, I'll list the other video, which has the cool shades, and then I'll list the review demo of all of the shadows that I own. I do plan on picking up more because these are amazing. So um, today's look. We're going to do, I really am inspired by this like orangey brown color, sorry if I'm blinding you. The orangey brown color at the end here, the deep color is really speaking to me. So the brush it comes with is actually pretty nice. It's got a nice fluffy brush on one end, and then the other end is like a crease brush. Now I will be using this today, but honestly, I don't think I'll ever reach for it again. Let's just be honest, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. So. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pencil brush side, like the more pointed one, and I'm taking this vanilla color. It's really just vanilla. I don't know how else to explain it. It's called Mix and Mingle, and it's a matte. And I'm going to tap that underneath the brow bone. Putting this right into the brow bone. Alright, so just an observation. I have noticed they are pigmented, like I can definitely see that. But I've kicked up some dust on my powder. I don't know if you can see, there's dust. Like if I were to go, powder would come up. So putting that on the inner corner of the eye as well. My initial motivation for buying these was because I wanted to buy a ton of transition shades. I'm always on the hunt for like that ideal shade to go right above the crease to blend up to the brow bone. So that's why this palette has like four of those shades because I was really looking for that. Um, so now I'm going to take this color called Invite Only and it is like a peanut buttery shade. Right by my pointer finger. And I'm going to try that with the other end of this brush, which is more of like a standard eyeshadow brush, as my transition shade. I like it. This brush does feel like you're like a child, though, like playing. Look how close my hand is to my eye. I'm like right up here, choked up to it. I'm going to go in with the color Gimme Gorgeous. G-I-M-M-E. Gimme Gorgeous. It's like a golden brown. So I'm going to use that with a different brush. I can't do it. Um, and I'm taking that just on the lid as a standard lid shade. And now, the star of the show is this deep brown color called Filthy Rich. I'm switching to the e.l.f. crease brush. Okay, so I just went ahead and did some liner and my mascara on one eye, but all I did was I took that deep brown color and I put it out here in the outer V and I feel like it's a really nice pigmentation and it actually blended really well and why how I can say that I believe it blends really well is if I take a blending brush and you know go circle 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 it doesn't get muddy it doesn't get grayish brown it doesn't start blending the colors together beyond recognition it just softens it which tells me this is a really good quality shadow it really blends well and I'm kind of impressed. I think that these are really good shadows. So another thing I did was I took a um, took my little crease brush. I should get a different brush, but you know this is real life. And I took more of that dark brown on it, and I put it underneath the lower lash line. And that's kind of my liner on the lower lash line here. So now I'm just going to apply the rest of my liner and mascara to this eye, and I'll be right back. Guys, okay, so this is the finished look using the warm shadows that I picked up from Buxom. 
Um, these are an incredible quality. I can't wait to show you the swatches in my review video. And I'll also talk about the pricing and how you can pick these up, how you can buy them individually, or put them in the six pan palette. So stay tuned for that, and I'll also link them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.